I do it with, uh, with the images because it's uh, even more, uh, you see it in a very good way. So, for example, if you have the images, you just swipe in front of it and you can just... Uh, so, and we're using the proximity sensor we have integrated in this, uh, in this uh, MIB. So, uh, if you're coming close, the, the buttons that you can use are getting bigger, that is even easier to, to touch them. But of course, for touching a button, you always have to look at it because you have to, to find it directly. So that's why we think the gesture control is a very good, um, um, uh, it's a very good uh, a way to, to control your, your, uh, your MIV, your infotainment system. Because you can keep your eyes on the road and just uh, swipe in front of it and use it. In all the, the contexts where we use it, for example, media, you will see a highlight on top. So you know, here I can just use a gesture. Uh, for example, here we skip, or if you go to the car context, you can also uh, change the, sorry, this one not, I'm, I'm wrong. If you go to, um, I think, driving data, there you see they have again the information, so you can also swap the context without trying to, to hit the button. But of course, you can change the mod uh, modality uh, you can do it even by touching, always. You can, it's always up to you how you want to uh, use your, your, uh, your system. We have a high resolution glass finish, a 9.2 display. It has a resolution of uh, 1280 times uh, 640 pixels. And um, we have it underneath the glass finish, as you know it from Apple, as you know, for example. And we don't have uh, that much keys as we had before. We have sensor keys on it. And uh, now you have this menu where you can select your function or even the home screen that we also provided last year on, uh, in, the, in the show car. And uh, this um, home screen you can configure as you like it. For example, if you like to, to have your, your media on this, uh, uh, on this one, you just uh, select the audio. Now you have your media tile and can also uh, control it um, here. Um, you know, so um, there are a lot of uh, possibilities for, for your own uh, needs. Here we have the active info display. It is a 12.3 inch big with a resolution of 1440 times uh, 560. And we have different modes uh, that you can have it. You can make the tubes bigger or smaller to have more of this uh, space for, for the content you need. And of course you can also uh, switch between different uh, uh, modes. For example, we have a economy and range mode. So you get more information about this uh, need. This, uh, so it changes a little bit. Or if you like speed and gear, you get like uh, more information about this. So you can configure it as you as you like it, and we use uh, the display also for all your, your information. Down here we have this um, the box for your smartphone, and uh, you have the possibility to charge your smartphone. So if you have a wireless charging smartphone, you put it there. You get information up here that your cell phone is charging, and now it starts charging down there without any cable. Um, Besides this, we have the USB-C connector. Um, so it's a new, the new plug um, that is coming up right now. With a, it's called USB-C, and you can connect your smartphone via this connection.